You all know her. You all love her. Who is she? Tessica Brown. I know some of you are like, who? Gorilla Glue Girl. Oh. Yep, this video is about her. She finally got relief. She was able to go to a plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills and get the Gorilla Glue removed from her hair without shaving it off. And I don't even think she has damage to her scalp. It's crazy. It's amazing. But most of all, it's stupid. <laughs> anyway, in today's video, I'll be reacting to the surgery of her getting the Gorilla Glue out of her hair. So all I need you to do is go press that like button and let's get this reaction started. In three, two, one, go. There she is. It looks kind of loose. It doesn't look as tight as it did in that other video. What's in her eyes? Oh, her, her eyes are taped. I'm guessing so they don't get any, you know, chemicals in her eyes. Oh, that looks nasty. Apparently they did this surgery for free too, which is crazy. But honestly, this is a blessing for her, but it's really a blessing for this surgeon. After this surgery, his net worth went to $8 million. This is the type of blessing he's been waiting for. The type of exposure he's been waiting for. If you feel anything, if it's too uncomfortable, let me know we can get you more payments, okay? Oh, she's awake with her eyes taped closed. That seems like it'll be really uncomfortable. But, I mean, she's been dealing with the uncomfortable situation for all month, so. Yeah, her hair looks, I'm not going to lie, it looks nasty, but that's because it's still got the glue in it. You know what? I honestly thought she wasn't going to make it out of this with hair. Like, I thought she was going to be bald. And probably forever, but... I mean, hey, the hair is still there. What we need to see, though, is does her hair continue to grow? You know what I mean? I feel like her scalp is damaged and her hair might not grow for a while, if ever. But if it if it is damaged and the hair doesn't grow, throw some minoxidil up in there. I promise you the hair will grow. See, see, this is what I'm talking about. Why they, why they, why they blasting this copyrighted music? Ooh, geez, that looks like it hurts. I want to hear what he's saying, but this music is copyrighted in the background. And there's another video related to this. I'm going to watch that right after I watch this one. So we're just going to do it all in one video. You know what? This is horrible for her, but I bet this is absolutely amazing for Gorilla Glue. You, could you imagine how mark how good the marketing is for this? Like, is I mean now everybody knows how strong Gorilla Glue is, so I'm pretty sure their sales are gonna go up. And for some reason, people have been saying that she wanted to sue Gorilla Glue, but she cleared that up and said that that's not even true. TMZ made that up. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let me go see the other video. All right, so this is the next video. I heard of it. Initially, I thought it was a joke. 
in my office said, hey, can you, can you remove uh, Gorilla Glue from somebody's cap? I said, of course. And I woke up. I thought it, I brushed it off. <laughs> and the next thing you know, they were asking questions. I looked up the compound, okay, the main active ingredient of Gorilla Glue, you know, polyurethane, and we figure out the science, how to break it down. So I then decided, you know, I don't know, we're going to reinvent the, the, the wheel. So we had, we bought chemicals that has components to dissolve, but it was solvent. It's medical grade adhesive remover that we use in the operating room. Uh, the company was very generous to us. They brought me some. They even saw me mix it up today uh, when they were here. Um, and then the active ingredient, I have another ingredient called MGD. I had an MGD to it, okay, which is uh, aloe vera and olive oil mixture, okay? Okay. And then we add a little, a little um, acetone, a little acetone. Unfortunately, I don't know why Gorilla Glue doesn't have a solution to it. And actually, I did make a phone call to Gorilla Glue. Uh -huh. They were nice enough to return my call, but I never talked to them. You know, uh, like I said, I have a chemistry background, so I knew that any compound, any compound can be broken down. And we went and got hair. So this is all hair, okay? Very typical black hair, okay? Real hair. Real hair. This is real human hair. Okay. You know, like everything we do, real human hair, we got it. We stuck it here, okay? And then we use hair extension. So this hair extension, okay, with Gorilla Glue, okay? I can spend this all day. My kids were playing with last night. <laughs> and we went ahead with the chemicals that we made. We started using it. All this was matted down. All this was matted down, okay? We sprayed the first, so it started untangling. And I knew we had a product that would work. Surgery went well. Uh, she had a lot of rotation on the scalp, especially the edges of her hair, of her head, uh, because of all the chemicals that she has put in. And the hair was actually very, very tough, very, very matted down, and it would not lift up. She's very, very lucky that she did not sustain a lot of injuries to her scalp. That's this what I was thinking. This type of deal is no joke, okay? For yeah. To have injury to your hair, you have stiffness that pulls your, your, scalp, your, uh, your scalp every single day. You can't sleep. And she just showed me a photograph. She had a ponytail that was like a stick. So you imagine having a stick stuck to your head and you're trying to sleep, you know? Mm -hmm. The many nights that she couldn't sleep, the anxiety. Right before surgery, we had to give her a medication just to relax her, okay? But she's been through a lot, and I hope that you guys will learn from Tessica's injuries or Tessica's ordeal. Make sure that any time that you guys grab something, make sure you're eating. Man. Moral of the story is, it's never that bad. Like I understand, you were in a rush, you were out of hair, gel, hair, whatever. But Gorilla Glue, out of all the things in your house, you could have picked up anything, but you picked Gorilla Glue. What possessed you? Like I would, I would think, you know, Vaseline, lotion. There's even stupid stuff like mayonnaise. I would think of mayonnaise before Gorilla Glue or just put on a hat. I know she had some hats. So many other options that she could have went with other than Gorilla Glue. But she said her biggest regret out of all this is posting it online. Not putting the Gorilla Glue in her hair, but posting the video of the Gorilla Glue in her hair online. Honestly, <clears throat> honestly, I think that was the best decision because now she has all these amazing contacts in her phone that she can talk to for opportunities. So I think she made a good decision by putting that online. Of course, this was a bad experience for her, but she might have more good experiences because of that bad experience. And although this was bad for her, it was really good for the surgeon and for Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue is gonna make a lot more sales now. And that surgeon, I mean, his he went to $8 million because of this, all this exposure. This was his blessing. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say about this situation. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go press the like button. If you didn't enjoy this video, then still go press the like button. I don't need to tell you subscribe because you should already be subscribed. I don't know why you wouldn't be subscribed, but hey, if for some reason you're not subscribed, then go do that right now. And if they ask you who I am, I'm Waveman Mike. So subscribe, drop a comment, and don't forget to like. Enjoy your day.